welcome you all for this today topic we are going to discuss about central dogma of molecular biology what is central dogma means what is dogma it is nothing but a belief or a principle or the rules which connected with the central core of molecular biology that dogma means it cannot be questioned this belief cannot be questioned that is dogma so the central dogma of molecular biology this principle was spread by the two famous scientists watson and crick we know that watson and crick they are the pioneers in discovering the double helical structure of dna molecule the discovery of their double helical strand of dna paved way for many things so the many things in this means the concepts of biotechnology the concepts of molecular biology everything comes into play only after the discovery of the double helical structure of dna the central dogma of molecular biology deals with the genetic information flow that is from the dna to rna and from rna to protein and it is not to the reverse direction it is always unilateral direction the flow of information from dna to rna and from rna to protein so this central dogma of molecular biology this message which is spread by the two famous scientists paved way for many more concepts to come so this dogma was first coined by crick he proposed and coined this term dogma so this transfer of information from nucleic acids to nucleic acids or from nucleic acids to protein may be possible but the transfer from protein to protein or from protein to nucleic acid is impossible so this is the concepts proposed by crick he says that the information can be from nucleic acids to nucleic acid can be passed or it can be transferred from the dna or rna to a protein but whether the information is passed from protein to protein or from protein to nucleic acid is to his view it is impossible so watson excluded the transfer of information from rna to dna so he also plays a very important pro important one in excluding the information transfer from rna to dna then comes the diagram for which everyone knows from the things we have studied from your school days onwards this replication that is a transfer of information from dna to dna that is called replication that means what the dna from dna we are making a copy of dna mostly this step this step of replication process that is the duplication of dna takes place mostly in cells before cell division likewise when the dna is made the dna from the dna the information is converted and transferred to rna molecules it can be a mrna molecule which is the main carrier of genetic information from dna that is responsible for getting the informations to form protein so the formation of rna from dna that process is called transcription so this transcription process is a very very important role which takes the information from the dna and transfers to rna likewise the information which is present in the rna molecule also can be decoded to form or the information present in that rna is responsible for the formation of proteins in ribosomes so the process of forming the protein from rna molecule that is mrna molecule is called translation process so these three important process plays a very very important role that is these forms the central core of our central dogma of molecular biology that is replication transcription and translation that means replication means the formation of dna from a dna molecule itself likewise a form and formation of rna from dna molecule then formation of protein from rna molecule this is called translation so 
what is in short what we can solve replication it is nothing but making a copy of dna itself from dna we are making a copy that is the information from dna is passed to another dna molecule so mostly this type of replication process or the duplication process of dna occurs before cell division because when a cell divides each cell should have an equal amount of dna content so in order to have the constant number of chromosomes or the constant quantity of dna present in each and every cell so the cell before going to cell division it undergoes a process called replication where the dna is duplicated that means it is doubled thereby when it goes to cell division that each cell will have the required amount of chromosomes or the required amount of dna content mostly this replication occurs in the s phase of the cell cycle we know there are different phases of cell cycle like g1 m g2 phase like that likewise the s phase is a phase where the replication process takes place so the key enzyme responsible for replication process is dna polymerase enzyme so this is a very very key enzymes in both in prokaryotes and eukaryotes that responsible for this replication process then coming to transcription what is transcription which i have discussed already in the previous slides that is formation of rna from dna template so the information from dna is transferred to rna molecule so in this rna molecule we are getting mrna there are different types of rna is formed but mrna is the one which carries the information from dna to rna so the key enzymes in this transcription process is rna polymerase so the rna polymerase are responsible for converting the information from the dna to rna molecule and this rna this mainly mrna molecule responsible for the forming to the next process that is formation of protein so in the next process is translation it is a process by which we are forming a protein from a, a mrna molecule mainly it takes place in ribosome because that is a protein factories where proteins are made so the information which is present in the mrna molecule are responsible for converting into the corresponding protein molecule for its function so the three important process what we have discussed that forms the core of central dogma of molecular biology that is replication transcription and translation so what are the challenges in this central dogma of molecular biology so in 1970 temin and co discovered an enzyme called reverse transcriptase and baltimore proved that the information from rna is copied to dna so this is another thing so before the 1970 they don't discovered an enzyme like this reverse transcriptase because the reverse transcriptase plays a very very vital role which can convert an rna molecule to dna molecule which is not previously known that is one thing so the discovery of this enzyme likewise the role of chaperones in protein folding like what we know that protein folding is responsible for the proper functions of a protein and for that we need some chaperones the chaperones are responsible for the proper folding of protein like splicing and editing all these things plays a very very important role for the challenges for central dogma of molecular biology so after this discovery they have discovered another or modified the central dogma that is rna can form dna molecule this is reverse transcription process so the transcription can be reversed by the presence of the enzyme reverse transcriptase so they modified the central dogma with four important process replication transcription translation and reverse transcription so this is the modified central dogma which we follow now but there are future challenges also without the cooperative function of dna rna and protein no information flows that is very important all are synergistically bounded the information transfer is an active response of a cell to its internal and external conditions so the proteins with the help of rnas can control the stability and usability of dna apart from its replication so in future 
another is set of new dogma can come which can change the existing modified central dogma into different flow charts and different things hope this central dogma will be replaced in future with another modified dogma for incorporating all these future challenges into one diagram so thank you very much i think your patient listen the central dogma of molecular biology for the further uh, topics to be discussed in the further lessons thank you thank you very much